Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the He Ray Vision Podcast. And I got myself Hector, also known as CN6. And with me, I got Mario. What up, man? And it's just me and Mario, man. Tonight, we're, we're, we're doing a, a special one, one that's very much overdue, honestly. Yes. It's not our first, like, our no. first, like, topic on this, on this, on this, on this podcast or on the channel where you're listening to it, but it's been a while since we've done a discussion. Yeah. How about video about games? About this genre. Yeah, but say video games, man. And, um, yeah, man, uh, obviously in the future, I want to do like more video game reviews. Cause the first video game podcast that we did was for back for blood, back for blood. Yeah. Which I thought one did surprisingly well. I well mean, yeah, man. Time. I mean, that game was a disappointment and I feel like every, everybody, anybody who played that game, you can tell like, yeah, bro. Yeah. It was overall. I mean, they, bro, they, they, they as remember they added content to it. Like what? Uh-huh. Four months later. Yeah. And a game like that, dude. It needs to be two months later at, uh-huh. li- at minimum. <laughs> like, like that ass, bro. You cannot be almost, almost like five months out, four months out, and then you add content to a game where it's very much dependent on content. Mm-hmm. Like, once you finish the shit, it's like, yeah, we can replay it, but even the replayability in that game is like not worth it. Yeah, that's facts. And okay, so this uh, episode is going to be about our top five video game franchises and like i said before i know we're gonna try to do our best and bust out more uh video game <laughs> nah now we gotta explain it bro like, why'd you start laughing we was doing good bro i was like yo we i said bust out we- i said bust out <laughs> <laughs> guys it's because okay man guys we're drink okay so like we're drinking right we're, we're drinking so yeah we're kind of like not really necessarily we're feeling it, bro. look at this look at this look at this this motherfucker. Hey man, you hear that? You know, we so, for a good time. Okay, but listen, before we get into it, guys, uh, let me get to my announcements. Before we get into it, guys, you guys can listen to us anywhere on SoundCloud, Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. I think I got everything. If not, go to heatrayvisionpodcast.com. You're gonna see all of our socials. <laughs> you said all I of think. our links. I'm so, I think I got them all. Yeah, but yeah, you got them all. You got them all. Okay. Make sure you guys follow us there. Um, but yeah, top five video game franchises. But before we get into it, guys, we have a couple questions. Uh, well, question, yeah, I know I have for this episode, I haven't done a poll, but I've had, you know, it, you don't have to ask questions through a poll, guys. Feel free to DM us. Feel free anytime, to, anytime, bro, anytime. Yeah, feel free to DM us if you have an actual question, feedback, or anything like that. So, yeah, this beginning portion, we're going to answer those questions. If you want to hear those questions, stick around. If you don't, just skip ahead. Until, I guess, you know, we get to the um, part where we talk about video games. It might be 20 minutes later, 30, I don't fucking know. But who cares? All right. I don't know why I said it like that. All right, guys. So, okay, the, uh, oh, before, okay, before we get to the questions, we want to say a few things. So, I want to mention, I want to share to you guys that the actress who oh this played, is raw this is a raw this yeah is raw the spark. the actress who played the mother in skin of a rink which if you guys haven't seen that review go check that out it's one the of very, our favorites I, in, in my opinion it's my the one i'm most proud of that we have put yeah. out there yeah it's, it opinion. was a really good review the okay so the actress that plays the mother in that movie actually saw one of our clips on instagram yeah on instagram and mm-hmm. actually dm'd us like mm-hmm. she liked our videos and she DM'd us and said that we were spot on about you know the about the movie taking like basically being childhood trauma, mm-hmm. right? And so yeah, which is uh, she just uh, really said that we're spot on and everything. I said holy crap, like we love your work. You know, hopefully you're in bigger movies and stuff like that. So yeah, that was a really cool like moment, man. Yeah, Shout out honestly, to you, bro. Yeah. Hon- it's a cool moment. Yeah, shout out. To, I was yeah. at work when you texted me that. She uh-huh. you were like Mario. You're not gonna be. I was like what, bro? What happened? And she's like, dude, and he, he told me what, you, what he just told you guys. I was like, bro, get the fuck out of here. Like, yeah. That's raw as fuck. Exactly, bro. And um, and so, and okay, so that's that's what happened. That's fucking raw. Mario Mario has his own uh, bit of a story as well. Go yeah, ahead, so when, when Hector told me that, right, my week had already been starting off really well. Because um, I don't know if, I'm pretty sure we have talked about it before. But uh, as you know, um I am a I'm a, I'm a huge and I and I, when I say huge I'm like I'm like a diehard like Star Wars fan, like I mm-hmm. fucking I I love that movie franchise I, I I love it to death bro I've been I I started off as a fan in Clone Wars, 
And um, for those of you who are Star Wars fans, you know that Star Wars Celebration recently happened and, and ended. And at the end of Celebration, every time, they always announce where the next one is going to take place at. So one day I was heading to work and they announced where it's going to be. And I saw when I parked my car, I was like, it's going to be in Japan. And I was like, there's no fucking way. Because when this when Star Wars Celebration is taking place in Japan was the exact same year and the exact same month when me and my cousin Thiele were planning on going to Japan and mm -hmm. Hector too. And so I'm just like, bro, this is a sign. This is a fucking sign. Like, bro, I have to go to this. And I already told everybody in our friend, I was like, listen, y'all. I'm going this day. Like, this time frame is when I'm going now. If you're there or not, then, you know, too bad, too sad, motherfucker. Yeah. I told y'all when I'm going, I'm going. Because Star Wars Celebration, the one time it was in Chicago, um, I couldn't go to it, sadly. And it was, like, the perfect time because, you know, we're here in Illinois. And I could have easily gone up there, drove up, and gone to that. But, sadly, I couldn't go. So, uh, this time, you know, the fact that it just happened to be in Japan, I was like, bro, life is, like, throwing me signs right now. Like, bro, you have to go to this shit. So I've been saving up already. So when this shit came out, I was like, yo, I'm 100% convinced. So I've been taking money out of my checks and shit, saving up now. And um, like I said, uh, they announced it on Twitter. I tapped on like the tweet and I commented saying, I deadass was already saving up for my trip to Japan in 2025. Now this made it a whole lot more exciting, right? So I, I replied to that tweet. I went upon my day. Not, uh, and, and then the cool part of the story is when I got home. Mm -hmm. And uh, for those of you know, I'm recently... I really decided to lose a lot of weight in my life. You know, I'm starting to like, you know, level up in my life. You know, like, hey, yo, you know, grind time on the podcast. And you know what? For myself, too. So I was meal prepping. So I was meal prepping my food for the whole week. And as I was meal prepping, I got a notification on Twitter from someone who liked my, my comment, right? Mm -hmm. And I looked at the comment. I mean, I looked at the notification and it said that Christopher Sean liked my comment and i'm like who the fuck is this who's christopher <laughs> sean right and so then i go yeah. on twitter i open it up and i see that this guy has a blue check mark i'm like this motherfucker played for paid for twitter blue what a loser yeah. that's literally what i said bro <laughs> <laughs> looking yeah. back at it now i'm like dude i'm such a bitch yeah check marks don't mean shit no more <laughs> yeah and so i tap on the um the profile right and immediately i see a face that i immediately recognize i'm like wait a minute I know this face. And for those of you who don't know, Christopher Sean voices a character on a Star Wars show mm -hmm. called Star Wars Resistance. He's a voice actor for the main character of of Kaz. I'm pretty sure that's his name. Yeah, Kaz. And at first when I saw that, I'm like, oh, this is fake. This has to be fake. No way in hell someone from Star Wars just liked my tweet mm -hmm. or my, my reply, my bad. And so I immediately, I, uh, I went on, I, I messaged my other friend. I'm like, yo, bro, is this real? Like hop on discord real quick. Help me prove this is real. So we did that. We, we like tried everything. We, we, we Googled his name and you know, when you Google a name, it, it shows that the person's socials on the yeah. right. I clicked on his Twitter. It took me to the exact same Twitter I have on my phone. Yep. So right then and there, I'm like, oh my God, it was him. it's the real motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So then on top of me finding out Japan, Star Wars celebration is going to be in Japan. Someone who does a voice in a Star Wars show that is canon liked my comment, bro. I'm like, yo, this whole day has been nothing but signs. I am yeah. going. Ain't no one stopping me. And you know what? The better, some other shit that's awesome. What if we do like a vlog? I, I'm, I, I would be down, bro, because I want to remember that shit for the rest of my life. I'm gonna be taking hella videos, hella mm -hmm. pictures, all that shit. But another thing is when I found out I was gonna take it piss in Japan, I put it in my siblings' group chat with my brother and sister. I probably was like, yo, this year, 2024, for my birthday and for my and for Christmas, all I want mm -hmm. is money for my trip. Mm -hmm. I will be grateful for that. And obviously, and I said, if you want to give me clothes or whatever, I'll be grateful for that too. So, so when is it again? Uh, 2025 and what? In April. In, in April 2025? April 2025 from the 18th to the 20th, so three days. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm planning on being there for like 10 because that, that, the first thing I get there is going to be dedicated to Star Wars. And the rest is when I, you know, me exploring Japan, bro. Like me being in Tokyo right. or whatever it's going to take place. I'm going to be wherever this takes place. So, yeah, man, bro. That, I mean, that week when, you know, getting the skin of Marie, 
from the mom, the actress herself saying like, hey, appreciate it, like shout, shouting us out and saying thank you for recognizing like her work. That was awesome. Mm-hmm. And then on top of this shit here, that was really cool too, man. So like that week was just fucking amazing for me, bro. And uh, that was pretty much my story. Also, yep. I didn't mention this before the podcast, so I apologize. I saw for the, the I remember because I remember the last podcast we did. I don't, remember, I don't know if it was the last one, the one before that we talked about anime. Yeah. I just went, for the person who asked that, I I don't know if you just watch like the typical shonen shit, but if you watch everything like I do in anime, I got told you I saw Suzume, the movie. Okay. I saw it, and that director he's known for making really big movies. Like he made Your Name. I don't know if you ever heard of Your Name before. No. But Your Name is a very, very popular yeah, my, anime. My movie. name. Your name. My name. Yep. <laughs> my name Hector, bro. You. Bitch. Or what? <laughs> no, the movie title's called Your Name, you oh, bitch. God. Oh my All God! Right, I hate. <laughs> You okay. really are feeling it, bro. All right, bro. But it's called your name, right? Okay. And so this guy hasn't made a movie in a while because he's been making this, Susan May. And I just wanted to give my quick review on it. <laughs> and the quick, my quick review is that I'll give it a 7 out of 10. There's a lot of things. I, I think out of all the movies he's made and the short films that he's made or whatever the fuck you want to call them, I think this is his weakest, in my opinion. Uh-huh. The story was all right. And they try to force that relationship between Susan May and I think Satoru, whatever his name is. I didn't buy that relationship. For whatever reason, I, yeah. even though they showed us, they showed us shit that like, hey, look, they're going through shit together. They love each other. Yeah. I was like, I still don't buy it though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And there's other shit I didn't like, but obviously, this isn't. We're not really doing a Susan May review. We're just doing and talk about gaming. So I just want yeah, to yeah, get yeah. that out the way. Seven out of ten. I think I don't think it's a bad movie. I think it's his weakest one out of everything right. he's done. But uh, yeah, Hector, you can move. You can move on now. <laughs> we're gonna move on from this, my just bad. bust it out like an anime review real quick yeah, my bad my bad but, okay but so i'm sure that guy would hopefully he's interested in anything but no yeah shout out to him and actually that same person he asked a few questions we're gonna answer here oh, that was sheldon who asked that yes i think it hey was. yo sheldon hey yo i just i just followed you back on ig bro i hope you know <laughs> shout out shout, <laughs> yeah, out, yeah, shout you, out sheldon bro, bro you're a real one. uh so this next part i want to mention is uh luis y'all remember luis hey shout out luis man the mailman i, I remember luis bro so hey, luis, luis okay OG. so um he, I posted on the main at He Ray Vision channel about sharing this new video game that's like a called Paranormal Tales, and it's like a, it's like, a, it's that thing that I showed you, bro. The, uh, oh, the body cam horror game. I didn't click on that because I was at work, but I did see the. Text. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I didn't watch that. So I sent that, and he swiped up to it. And he's like, "Oh, shit's crazy, right?" Mm. And I just reply to him. You know, I just wanted to ask him a question. Yo, bro, have you been listening to uh, all the episodes? Because like we mention you as jokes, like as yeah. a, as a joke. Yeah. And he says, yeah, I have. I show my wife and cousins, like, if I'm famous and shit. And, uh, <laughs> he, said, y'all brought, is he, he said, y'all brought me up when you guys were on some sus shit. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all said, Luis is out. LOL. <laughs> and, so, and, and so I'm having this convo with him. And I just want to say, Luis, he's one of the first people yeah. that actually reached out to us. That's through, facts, bro. Through, uh, through messages saying, yo, bro, we fuck with the pot. I'm a mailman, all these different things. So, the past couple episodes, if you guys are new or if you guys haven't heard, mm-hmm. we would mention, like, whenever we say some stupid shit or yeah. some such shit. Hey, man, Luis, listen to this. You know. Yeah, like, Luis, yeah. Uh, Luis, he's gone, man. He signed off or, like, whatever. And I told him that he just became, like, an icon. And I told him, I promise. If, if I, I told him, I promise that, like, if our podcast does really well and stuff, we'll still continue to mention oh, him. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. As like a... As you guys like a, hear from the beginning, Like, like inside all, joke. You, you guys will always have our love, bro, for real. You know what I mean? Like an inside joke and stuff. So I just wanted mm-hmm. to... I just wanted to mention that, bro. He's like, let's fucking go, man. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Luis, bro. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to... So the next... Okay, the first question is from Sheldon. Uh, he asks... Any thoughts on Jon- on Jonathan Majors' assault charges and his future career mm, for Marvel playing Kang yeah. and the whole Kang dynasty? So, I mean, this is... When we first heard about it, at least for me, I was like, yo, what the fuck? When situ- I, was- I think we should start off. When situations like this come out, bro, mm. I think the best thing, in my opinion, to do is to not, to not believe either side. Yeah. Wait until all the facts are out and then... Mm-hmm. You as a person make your your decision like okay who's right in your opinion who's yeah. wrong in your opinion and so, for me right now bro I just don't know all the facts I mean so before like I mean before you know, he was yeah. uh, he was being accused and everything they arrested him they took a report but then the woman that was accusing um, him accusing him dropped the charges and everything so like it's like what the fuck's going on you know uh, to me like I said I'm a Mario man I gotta see both sides to be honest but. 
I have a gut feeling that he innocent, man. He my dog. Whatever. I know what you mean, man. You want to believe he's innocent, but it's like, fuck, I don't But think. either way, like, I thought he was amazing as Kang, the Conqueror, and hopefully that doesn't affect him because I hope they don't recast him. It's like, I hope they don't recast him, bro. If they do, that's going to be just really fucking weird. Mm. It's going to make the first, even though the first, even though the movie was a six out of ten for me, I just think that, like, if they recast him, it's just, it's going to make it worse or somewhat, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much our our, our uh, thoughts on that, bro. Um, this this next one that I have, he wants to know. He wants our opinion for the new Fast and Furious movie. Oh, I mean, uh, though he he says that just seen the recent trailer and it's just and it's just ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, bro, we're with you, bro. Love I, your guys' content. Um, appreciate that comment, or bro, appreciate you saying that. I mean, but uh, I mean, we're with you. Well, me and Hector are with you. Javi, Javi loves him. He man. loves them. Um, me and Hector on the same boat were like, we love the originals when it felt like it was really more just about drag racing and yeah. there was a, a you know a, a decent story with like very also. it was grounded. It was yeah, it felt very grounded. But at this point, man, I mean, we it's know like, what, what we're gonna going get. On? We know what we're gonna get out of Fast and Furious. We're gonna get stupid shit. Like I. I'm going to tell you the moment when I lost, like, okay, the moment where I was like, I'm never taking these movies seriously mm-hmm. ever again is when, I forgot which one it was, but it was when Vin Diesel said, or not said, but when he, like, he's on a highway, bro, mm-hmm. and he's, I don't know if he says this, but, like, he's, like, famous for, he's like, bro, we are family, and then he stomps on the highway, he literally, he stomps on the highway, <gasps> oh yeah, which and is the highway right? completely collapsed. Oh, no, he was on a, in a parking lot. Was it a parking lot? Yeah, Either he, way, he was man, fighting he, with Jason Statham, and he like, and he just stomps on the ground, and then the, the, the whole thing just collapses. Yeah. I'm like, bro, are you fucking kidding? And me? then the and then the recent movie where like he grabs these thick as big as chains, and he pulls down the roof. Yeah, by pulling the chains I know down. what you mean, bro. At this point, bro, it's just it's just or dumb with, entertainment. Uh, at this point, when it comes or to with, Fast and uh, Furious, what's his name? Oh, fuck, what's his name? Tyrese. Uh, Tyrese. His character again, Ron. I think so. I forgot his fucking. I know what you mean. We, sorry, we, we, from the last movie, we're like they're in space. We're like he was no when he that, but like he was in the middle of a pit shooting at bad guys. Oh, and they're like in the jungle. Where yeah, and he was just shooting like turning he's going around. around like, yeah, I know on. what you mean, bro. I mean, so, we're we're gonna review the new one, obviously, just because it's a big movie. But like, expect only Javi to be you know praising it. Yeah, man, Javi I, generally loves them. I he love generally. I love, love the originals up until mm-hmm. Tokyo Drift, man. That's mm-hmm. my Fast and Furious. This whole new Fast and Furious, I don't give a fuck. It's, it's whatever, you know. It's yeah, just mindless it looks, entertainment. Yeah, it looks That's ridiculous. What, basically, what it is. We we definitely agree on you on that, man. Yeah. And so, uh, he so same thing with Sheldon, man. He just wants to know if we are gonna review new and recent movies slash TV shows or jump in on movies and TV shows in the past as well. Uh, so and what do you guys Pass. thoughts? What do you guys thoughts on HBO's Titans and Beast Boy going through the multiverse? So let me just answer the HBO Titans one. I I don't keep up with HBO's uh, Titans yeah. or any like or CW Flash and stuff. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, eventually, Sheldon, we might get into that. Um, maybe with me and Hive with our other project that we're doing that's just all about related superhero stuff. But yeah, I'm not really. We don't really keep up with that, so we can't necessarily give you opinion. We're sorry about that. But to answer your question, uh, and to people wondering, right, about you, about you saying if we're only going to review new and recent movies or jump back to the past. So I already answered Sheldon privately, just because I didn't want him to wait and stuff. Yeah. But I wanted to say this in this episode, just in case people had the same question or whatever. And so originally, when I started the podcast. It was our goal was to pretty much review anything we wanted. Yeah, Whether that it's was old movie. Goal, yeah. yeah, old movie, new mo- old game, new game, whatever. Mm. Just like how you described it. But truthfully, I had other plans. I had different I had a different vision. So I thought of like, okay, listen, we're small, you know, we're not making any money. We're really like, you know, what I mean, we gotta grow. So and we're I th- all working at the same time. Yeah, too. you know what I mean? So like, it's really difficult, right? So what I thought of, okay, what are, is our best chances to grow? And one thing I do regret is the first year of our podcasting, we weren't we weren't really uploading a bunch of clips we like we are now. We we, yeah, like now we've been we've been uploading clips for four months and we've gained a lot of traction. I yeah, wish we'd true. done that the first year, which we appreciate by the way. You know, I, yeah, like I wish we'd done that the first yeah. year, but we didn't, right? Mm-hmm. So the way I envisioned it is like, okay, cool. How can I maximize the growth 
and keep interest levels to this podcast. Well, hold on. Let's just switch it. Let's just review new and upcoming shit. You know what I mean? Because that's what's hot right now. People might go see, oh, I want to see a spoiler discussion, spoiler review about this topic. Mm -hmm. And and not only that, it also ties into the main brand. So as you guys know, if you guys don't know, go to heatrayvision.com. You're going to see all of our socials. That is the main brand, just at Heat Ray Vision on all socials. And my plan essentially is I want to make that as a brand, a media site, a media company. And um, I want the podcast to coincide with that. So for example, in the future, what I like to do, like I said, it might not happen. Things might change. But as of right now, the thing that I have envisioned is have Heat Ray Vision, the main brand, where it'll be three to five minute non-spoiler uh, reviews of a movie, video game, stuff like that. that I don't know, connected to IG, like IGN or GameSpot. And then Heat Ray Vision podcast would be basically a spoiler review slash discussion on that movie so for example if a new movie comes out on the main channel heat ray vision there will be a three four minute five minute whatever movie review on that movie non-spoiler right and then at the end of the video it'd be like hey if you want to hear a spoiler review or if you want to hear discussion about spoilers or whatever check out the podcast Mm -hmm. right that is my plan and that is that's what i'm doing and that is why and i understand that you some of you guys want us to review older stuff but truthfully, I'm not sure if we, I'm not sure as of right now that's a good idea because right now we're trying to maximize growth, we're trying mm-hmm. to grow. So I think it's just best to do what's hot right now. Yeah. And so far, it's been working, yeah. you know. And I explained that to him, and he said, "Hey, I totally get it. I support you know your decision and stuff like that." Right. So mm-hmm. shout out to you, bro, for understanding. But anyway, for everyone wondering, guys, that is the plan. It might take years to happen. It might not even happen at all, right? But as of right now, at this moment. That is my plan of what mm-hmm. I want to do with E-Ray Vision, and hopefully um, it works out. And if not, it's whatever. We got the pod. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. Right? And then, you know, we'll encore. And then who knows? Maybe in the future we might review older stuff. Yeah, man. Cause listen, you never bro, know. Because, like, if, we, if we're ever grateful enough to ever make money off this point where we can quit our jobs... Well, obviously, we'll definitely it, listen to you we're, guys. It, it, like, we'll definitely listen to you guys a whole lot more because guess what? If we're making this our job, we have to commit a good amount of our time to this shit. So we need yeah. we need topics, we need ideas to fill up that time. Yeah. So like, and not only that, it's just the fact that we've I, even right now we've missed a couple movies, bro. Yeah, we like, we're, like we're behind, mm-hmm. and truthfully, guys, that's because we're like working. We, you know, life. Like, yeah man it's just life dude it's just it's just different obviously when we make revenue and stuff to the point where it can aff- where we can afford it obviously we'd be able to check out every single movie without a yeah, doubt like that's that, a facts like this would be facts. a full-time job mm-hmm. but unfortunately that's not how it is so you know and we apologize if, if that, anything obviously. yeah if, if anything the closest old movie reviews you might do is stuff that we miss of this year for example maybe creed i don't know maybe the winnie Winnie air, the Pooh, air movie, yeah, air, right? What I mean by Winnie the Pooh, the horror movie mm-hmm. one, uh, what's it called? Renfield, we missed that one. Uh, Bo's the, afraid. We yeah. might do that. We don't know yet. It's, yeah, it's up in the air on that one. I, so, I want to see it. Really so, bad. to the so that is the closest, probably the old movies reviews that we might do that came out this year that we missed. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Even if we don't, oh well. Like we apologize. We're we're doing our best, man. For sure, the big blocks block, blockbuster ones we will a hundred percent get from us. The the Spider Man to the Multiverse, fucking mm-hmm. um, what's another one? Like, Spider uh, Spider Man to the Multiverse. Is it, what, what was Spider Man across the Spider Verse? That one, yeah, you know what I meant. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that one. What's another big movie? Does Dune two come out this year? No, it doesn't. I think it does. Uh, Dune Transformers. Transformers uh, will one hundred percent give yeah, you guys so that like, one. Just really like Evil Dead Rise. We're gonna At, oh, Fast and Furious. We're gonna give you that one. Yeah, like the, the really Guardians big of the ones. Galaxy. So yeah, so we're gonna do our best, guys. So thank you for having patience on us. Yeah, for real. Um, okay, so the, another thing is it's from Sheldon again, which I already answered his question. But he says that, um, I just wanted to know, I support your guy's goal, which is what I said before. Mm. This is kind of a suggestion. I would really like to see like trailer reactions to upcoming movies and TV shows in your, your guys' episodes. That would be rough. Listen, so, man. Believe I, well, hold up. I always told Hector, I'm like, yo, I love doing reactions. I, I already do reactions myself, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like Star Wars and shit like that. Yeah. And I, I always buy them. I'm like, bro, people love reactions. Mm-hmm. Why not just post it? Like, when we see a trailer, why not react it? But the thing is, when a trailer drops, are we together? Are That's me, nice. Hector, Javi, are we together? That goes back to, like, us 
you know what I mean, we'll eventually do that consistently yeah. if we make money off of this stuff. Mm. And we could quit our jobs and just focus on this, but we can't. Mm. So, but to answer your question, bro, once again, is yes, we've thought of that. I've thought of that. Mm -hmm. And most likely it will not be on the podcast. It'll be its own complete, completely separate YouTube channel, maybe at He Ray Vision Reacts, right? Mm -hmm. And that's where all the boys pull up, react and stuff. But like I said, you know, we need to buy cameras, which cameras are expensive and stuff. And the way our setup is, it's kind of awkward. You know, we're just not really making revenue. We just really can't afford it right now. But yes, we have thought about it. And yes, it will eventually come in the future. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, that's uh, the to answer his last question. And uh, I think that's pretty much it, man. That's it. I think I covered everything. All right, bro. So, so shout out. Yeah, shout out to you, bro. I know. He, and the reason why it was just him of his questions because he actually personally DM me and stuff. So there you guys go. Yeah, man. Don't be afraid to ever ask us any questions, bro. Anybody listening to this, if you feel like, hey, I disagree with you at this point, DM us why you disagree, and we'll con we'll counter your argument. Yeah. On the podcast, bro. Like for real, it doesn't have to be. If you have a question, it could be like, oh, I heard I recently just listened to an old podcast of yours. I disagree. Here, we'll answer it on the next one when we do. You yeah. know what I mean? It, it could be about anything. Or bro. feedback, you know. Like, or oh. feedback, yo. I, don't, I just said yo. <laughs> All feedback, yo. <laughs> Yeah, I'm all right. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I'm surprised I was talking that well and getting my point across. I told, I, I said before the podcast, like, yo, this podcast is gonna sober you up. I'm telling you right now. Mm. But uh, yeah, man, we appreciate all the support you guys give us. You know, seriously, we apologize that we can't do more. We want to do more. Like, trust me, like we want to do it. We just can't. But man. you know, we work five days a week, forty hours a week, mm. sometimes more, and we got bills to pay ourselves. You know, like we 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 try to give you guys as much as we can when we can. And because there's like so many movies that we're interested in coming this out. This month alone, bro. Holy even the fuck. same, even on the same weekend, there'll be two movies in the same. Yeah, weekend. it's like fuck, bro. We really gotta watch. Like, we, we so, tell us like, bro. Okay, we either watch one, review yeah. the other one. It's like this week, the original plan was to watch Bones Afraid. Yeah, and then um, Evil Dead Rise. Evil Dead Rise. But this weekend, I wasn't last, supposed to be here this Saturday. Last I, weekend, we had air. We had no, no. I think the weekend before that, we had air. And last week we had Renfield and Nefarious. Remember that a Nefarious lot of, movie? Yeah, we had a lot of movies, uh, bro. So, like I said, guys, we're going to do our best. We're going to do our best. But most definitely, if this ever does take off or we could quit our jobs and stuff, 100%, like, we're going to grind and do what we got to do, yeah, right? Bro, you know? We're going to make sure that your support, like, we'll always make sure that you guys are always taken care of. Yeah. But, um... To get into so, the the title, so yeah, we're we're in twenty seven minutes in, guys. You literally said God twenty. So fast forward yeah. twenty minutes. You literally yeah, right? were right. We're twenty seven minutes in, so fuck it. Boom, right here, we're finally starting on our top five video game franchises. All right, and um, so what, although what? obviously we're not weirdos, we're gonna start at five, not one. Okay, so oh shit, so we're ranking them like that. Oh, you do want to say top five or like? Because the thing is, like, I don't. There's some things that I like equally. Equally, yeah. How about you just say like there's three and four, but honestly they're 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 swappable for me. I don't really give a fuck. You can just say that. Okay. All right. Well, I didn't even have written them. Down. <laughs> I didn't even write them down. Okay, let's go with you. Okay, let's go with your top five. All right, your bro. first five. Okay, so I think at five, at five, I honestly am gonna have the Uncharted franchise. Ooh. Uncharted. Because Uncharted was really... At number five? At number five, bro. And I'll explain my other four, obviously. But Uncharted, the whole one, two, three, and four, I think are all great games. Mm -hmm. They are all great. All right? Uncharted 2 being my favorite, right? I, I love Nathan Drake. You talk about an iconic character. Yeah. Nathan Drake is iconic as fuck. That's facts. He's an iconic character. You don't even have to own a PlayStation to know who Nathan Drake is, in my mm -hmm. opinion, right? Uh, not only that, I think all the the gameplay has always been improved upon in every game. They try to be innovative and all that shit. All the action sequences, the big ones, are always hype as fuck. That's true. One of my favorite ones was from Uncharted 2, and where I obviously I forgot what the, the city so, is called. Wait, when, wait, sorry to cut you off. Is this like... Is this a uh, order of your top five or is it just random? No, this is my order in five. Oh, okay, okay. So this is my you. five right here. Okay. My one of my favorite action things in, in, in Uncharted was from Uncharted Two, where you're like hot. Remember, I, did you play Uncharted Two? I'm pretty sure you. Yeah. Have. Remember when you're like you're like in the city, and the the building's collapsing, and you jump from one building because it's falling to down the other building. The other building, bro. When I was yeah. playing, I'm like, yo, this is raw think, as shit. I think from the jump, Uncharted Two catches your attention. 
just because you're in the very beginning. When you're in the train, right? You're in the that train. You're train, like, what you're the like, fuck what happened? The f- yeah. Yeah, I know, you to, bro. You have to climb up and stuff. Yeah, man. I, I don't know. I think every game is great, in my opinion, bro. Because Uncharted is just a franchise where I'm just like, bro, I love every game. And, and you know, sadly, I I think news came out recently where they asked, I think Neil Druckmann, like, hey, are we ever going to see another Uncharted game? And he said no. Yeah. That's, p- p- the, the, the plan is right now, like, we're that series is done, which breaks my heart because... Hey, man. At the end, spoilers for Uncharted Four, if you haven't played it. Spoilers. But um, we obviously know that Nathan Drake eventually gives up that life. Mm-hmm. He wants to raise a family, and he has a daughter. So I always thought, like, hey, spin off, do it with his daughter, because his daughter obviously knows that. Because at the end, he finds like, what the fuck? That's mom and dad, and they have guns, and that's Uncle Sully. What the fuck? I was like, eventually, it seems like his daughter is very interested in what they used to do. Did when you they say were- Uncle Sully? Uncle Sully, that's what he is. Oh, they said Saldi. Oh, Saldi, my bad. I meant Sully. Saldi? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, obviously, she's very interested in what the her parents did when they were, you know, in their 20s or whatever the fuck. I'm like, you can easily make a spinoff game more Uncharted. You, I don't know what the fuck you play on Call of Uncharted. Whatever, I forgot her name, but, you know, like it's just a spinoff with yeah. her. It's, it, it, you could easily do that, and she has her own set of characters. Call it Un Uncharted. This motherfucker. <laughs> or, or, or Recharted. Recharted? <laughs> recharted sounds like Recharted or something. Yeah, for real. Recharted. But uh, what, what was your number five? So I've been thinking, and I think I'm going to go with Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls? She. Because, and okay. the reason why I say that is because Elder Scrolls came out. The very first Elder Scrolls was a PC game. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Sure, it was very popular, but it's fucking booty if you try playing it now, bro. It's okay. like, I could show you gameplay. Maybe some of you guys listening, you guys might know. And truthfully, the only Elder Scroll games that I liked was Oblivion and then Skyrim, which is the most recent Elder Scrolls. Mm-hmm. You know, and compared to every other games, I'm like, yeah, I like a lot more games from those franchises. So I think it's best to put Elder Scrolls in the bottom for me at number five because... but. But if we're just talking about games, like alone, Skyrim is going to be, I think, my number one. But yeah. if we're talking about franchises, right? Mm-hmm. So from franchises, yeah, I think Elder Scrolls definitely, and Skyrim being one of the best Elder Scrolls games, the best RPG game, best. That game is just amazing. Its world, the, the amount of the amount of quests there is, uh, it's just it's just fucking amazing, man. But if we're talking about franchises, yeah, that's gonna be my number five, okay. and then then we'll yeah. Then I'll explain why later on and stuff. So that's my number five. I mean, Which, I, I feel like you're gonna. I'm gonna get a lot of hate, bro. I, I've only ever played like the first two hours of Skyrim. <sighs> you bitch. I which is weird. I put like, so many hours in Skyrim. Man. I know. That's a game, bro. I really, I really, I feel. You know what sucks, bro? You I say, try. I say <laughs> that I want to play it, but I honestly, I feel like I'll never play it. But the next one that um, no. Nah, what man. are they called? What's what's the studio called again? Bethesda. Beth- Bethesda. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the only other one I'm ever gonna play is the new one coming up. No, you got to play this one, dude. Like, I yeah. even put on Thelia, which, for you guys don't know, Thelia is uh, Mario's it, cousin. I've, I've always, I dude, always ask him if he finished it. I don't I think never he fin- I never finished it. Oh, for real? That's how many quests there are. Like, you get... I never... I, okay, this is going to sound fucked up. I've never actually beaten the main story of Skyrim. For real? Just because I've gotten distracted on so many side quests. Like, oh, you, you're like, like me. Like, you know, you no, but here's the thing, bro. You're going to... Like, you ain't asked Thelia, bro. These side quests feel like the these main games story. feel like the main story. I know what you mean. It's crazy as shit. You love that. Absolutely, game, you bro. love that. And so with, with Thiele, when I put him on, he was obsessed with it for a while. And he actually wasn't even following the main story. He was also doing a bunch of crazy shit. Mm-hmm. You got to get on it, Mario. You're going to love yeah. it, bro. It's amazing. I, I think it's one of the things where like I'll play it when like there's nothing for me to stream or some shit like that. I'm like, <sighs> yeah. I mean, maybe that was what a week ago or two weeks ago or some mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, but in two weeks, I can't. I can't beat the game in two. Not weeks. Not beat the game, but like at least play it. Like just yeah, play I could. It. Just start I'm just in this weird like 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 area in like the game like the year where like nothing's coming out, but like for only for like two to three weeks. Mm. You know what I mean? And we'll talk about why in later because we have more topics, obviously. But um, for nine for my number four. And I feel I'm gonna get a lot of a lot of hate for this one. Well, not a hate, but like, what the fuck? You put on Charter Five and you put this four. Um, and I know, but like, I'll explain why this is my okay. four. Uh, I'm gonna put Mass Effect. Damn, nah, you fucked. Listen, listen, listen. Mass Effect over Uncharted, bro. Come on. Listen, but here's why: I am a sucker for open world 
RPG games. I that is my 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 niche. I fucking love those games. Mm-hmm. If you give me a good one, that's how Skyrim lo- is. <clears throat> yeah, I know that's why I said, which is why like, yo, you know what sucks, bro? Like, I never played it before, and mm-hmm. I heard nothing but great things. But the I came, okay, I immediately everyone's gonna hit me like, bro, do you not know how the fuck Mass Effect Three ended? That was a shit ending. Okay. People always give shit about Mass Effect Three, and I'm not disagreeing with you. Which to be fair, just I, I want to add really quickly, I've never, I've never played Mass Effect. That's one of the game. Over, you that's it. one of the franchises that I plan on playing. All right. But and I like, like, like I said, I've never played. I mean, I never played. I know what people fucking say about the Ma- ME three ending. I understand. I completely understand. But when when I understand when I played the games, um, I played it when they added like that extended cut DLC. I'm pretty sure that's what they called it. Where they basically they try to fix the ending, kind mm, of, bro. Okay. Yeah. So I played all three games yeah. like that. Yeah. So the ending wasn't as bad for me. Mm. So that's why I say when people say the ending shit, I'm like, okay, I, I, I'm not going to argue it because when it came out, I'm not going to lie, it was a shit ending. Because when I first saw Mass Effect 3 come out, I just, I saw it through a YouTube playthrough because I was a kid. I can't afford it. I think I'm going to go to my, my fucking dad and be like, yo, buy me this $60 game real quick. Hell no, he's not buying me that shit. I, get, all I'm watching you, is through YouTube. You'd only get the twenty dollar used. Game yeah, game only stuff. twenty dollars, bro. And, and once a year, bro, I, I had I had to save up money from from like randomly from how my parents would give me money, sixty dollars. I'd be like, okay, what game am I gonna get this year? It's my one game of the year. I gotta make sure it's right. If it's brand new, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I would save up, but that's how I got my Black Ops too. That's how I got Mass Effect. I saved up twenty bucks or thirty bucks years later after it came out, and I played Mass Effect three, bro. Oh shit. Yeah, man. Not 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 one or two. Now I played all three, obviously. I love all three. Mass Effect One, yeah, it has issues, but like it kind of comes with, like the sense of the times. Yeah. So yeah, you understand yeah. it. So I'm not really giving it a negative because of that. You know what I mean? And Mass Effect Two, I think Mass Effect Two is my personal favorite mm-hmm. out of the three. Um, but I mean, the characters you can't deny the characters in Mass Effect in the Mass Effect universe. Um, I I I love I love Liara, Ashley, Garrus, Rex. Every character, even the fucking ship itself, the Normandy, is feels like its own character in its own in its own right, honestly. Mm-hmm. And we're not gonna talk about Armageddon or Andromeda. Andromeda. I was about to say what happened. Andromeda. I was about to ask you about yeah, that. Yeah, Andromeda. <laughs> let's just let's let's ignore Andromeda. That shit never uh, happened. Yeah, no, I, that's when that part shit of the got franchise. announced, bro, I was like, wait a minute, why are we gonna go to a completely you know a completely new like universe? Where it's like apparently like I don't know how many fucking years in the future after Mass Effect Three. Why not? This is what I thought. I'm like, okay, yeah, I understand. One, do do a new story, new game, obviously with new characters. I understand that, but why not just do it after the events of Mass Effect Three? Not right after, but just after, mm. right? Where it's like you're. I shouldn't say because spoilers, but you know what I mean. And you know what happens at the end of the game where shit gets fucked up. Why not have it be? A new set, a crew, and your 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 story is to fix what happened after three. Mm. If that makes sense, I, obviously I, I want to go into details, but I can't. I'm spacing the fuck out, but okay. <laughs> but either way, you know, I don't want to give spoilers. But uh, yeah, don't give spoilers. But I plan on playing the, the exciting thing is, bro, that's that because uh, you probably don't know is that they're making another Mass Effect game, Ooh. and it's gonna be with the original cast. This is gonna be fire. You think? Yeah, I, hey man, I'm there day one. You ain't seeing me, bro. You ain't seeing me for two <laughs> weeks. I don't give a fuck. I'm not hanging with y'all. When that game drops, yeah. hey, no social life for two weeks, motherfucker. You ain't. I'm on that motherfucking game, bro. Right. And it's just one of the things where we're like, you just grow attached, bro, to the game, man. That makes sense. And that's my four. What's your four? My fourth is gonna be Uncharted. Uncharted. Okay. And I'm not gonna go too much in depth because I think you did a pretty good job doing that. Uncharted is just like. Like there's not one game that's like with with Mass Effect, right? With Arm Drama or whatever the Andromeda. fuck, right? Yeah. Like it's not one of those franchises. No, all those games hit, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think Uncharted Four, sorry, Uncharted, the overall franchise is gonna be my number four. So, your number three, Mario. My number three, and I I was debating putting this one at two, bro, just because of how how strongly oh, it finished. Shit. Um, but I think I'm going to put this at three. Um, my three has to be Bioshock. Bioshock? Bioshock. All three games Which are... Which is another franchise I need to play. I haven't played. Mm-hmm. All three games I still think hold up to this day. 
And if you haven't played the Bioshock franchise, I highly recommend you play it. There's a remastered uh, edition out, so you can play it remastered. Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> I recently am playing through Bioshock 2 right now. Um, and Bioshock 2 is definitely probably the weakest one out of mm. the three. But it's still a, a good game at the end of the day. Um, when you talk about the Biofuck, bio, 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 <laughs> Bioshock <laughs> franchise, bio uh, I mean, you talk about three games that bio are all, at, at bare minimum, they're good. Bioshock Infinite is a fucking masterpiece. It is an, a fucking incredible God ass fucking damn. game. It is a 10 out of 10. I think if I were to give it all three out of 10, I would give Bioshock, the original Bioshock, probably a 9, mm-hmm. Bioshock 2 an 8, and Bioshock Infinite a 10. Oh, wow. And I, I can't wait for you to play this franchise, bro, and the DLCs with them. Because, bro, the story, it make, it's, 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 it goes throughout all three games smoothly. It makes mm. sense. And especially in Bioshock Infinite, bro, I th- it, it feels like you're in a movie. Because the voice acting in Bioshock Infinite, bro, is it stands out. Mm-hmm. It literally stands out. Where it makes you feel like I said you're in a movie. And, and I'm pretty sure Troy Baker's in it. I, I'm pretty sure that's oh, that shit. motherfucker's voice. I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments or whatever, whoever's listening to this. I'm pretty sure it's Troy Baker, the guy you're playing as. And then uh, I forgot the girl's name, but whoever whoever she is, a voice actor, she did an excellent fucking job. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And it goes along with the gameplay. I think the gameplay is very entertaining, very intriguing. Just overall, a very good franchise. All three are great games, at minimum good games. Bioshock, the last one, is fantastic. And for anyone who has played the game and doesn't know, they are making another Bioshock game. They announced, they made a studio from 2K, they made a studio dedicated to Bioshock a while ago. Mm-hmm. Like a couple of years ago, they announced it. And I remember messaging Dealey like, yo, Brooks, I, I put Dealey on. Dealey played Bioshock, the, the original game. And he, he was texting me like, yo, I just beat it on the body and all that. And I told him, I'm like, yo, bro, they're making a new mm-hmm. new game. And when they, when they announced the studio, and it's pretty much been dead silent for, for a while now, for a couple of years. I don't know when we're going to hear anything from it. I mean, at this point, bro, it's any it's any day now. Any day they're probably gonna ask like, "Yo, here's a teaser trailer. Here's the name for our next game." Mm-hmm. I can't wait for it. But uh, obviously, at the Game Awards, we saw that the guy who made the Bioshock World mm-hmm. is working on his own game. I forgot what it was called, but I'm uh, very excited to play that game also. Yeah, dude, I forgot what it was. Too. Yeah, but I'm very excited for that game also. But um, the Bioshock franchise, bro, every game is good. Wasn't it Atomic Heart? No, that was not. It wasn't Atomic Heart. It was another one. Are you sure? Yeah, no, it wasn't Atomic Heart. Trust me. No. Okay. Yeah, but um, a Bioshock franchise, bro, a very good single and- single player narrative driven with good gunplay, good gun mechanics, good abilities. You know, like I said, play the remastered version. The graphics are better there, obviously, and I think you just fall. You will fall in love. Hopefully, you fall in love like I did. Bioshock Infinite. I will stand by to this day. It's a ten out of ten. It's one of my favorite games of all time. And yeah, man, Bioshock Infinite is my three. Um, speaking speaking of Bioshock, bro, I remember as like a kid, like that little girl creeped me the fuck out. Oh, the little sisters? Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, man. They it, it's, it, it's it, 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 can, it can definitely be creepy at times. I'm not gonna say Bioshock is a horror game. It's definitely not. It doesn't. Get, it definitely does give off like creepy vibes where you're like, yo, it's kind of creepy. Yeah. But definitely not horror for sure. No, it's definitely like maybe like a. It's definitely like an action game, single player action, first person game where you have guns and you have cool abilities and shit. And the way they go about it, it makes sense. And yeah, man. I mean, I can't wait until you start playing it, bro, because you're gonna see what I'm talking about. There's when a you... bunch of games, man, that I got. Yeah, I wish play. I was in Hector's shoes. Everyone, me, like I, I tend to. <laughs> and the world, like you, like you have all these games to play. I like do, me, man. I, I've done a pretty good job of playing all these games that interest me. You know, I'm at the point where like now I have to wait for games to come out that interest me. Hector literally has a bunch. Like he has Bioshock, like just literally like a, like like a shit. Bioshock, Horizon, I got Horizon, God of War, War, Resident War. Evil, Ghost of Tsushima, fucking uh, just and then a bunch of other like other like wacky games like Life is Strange. Yeah, uh, all these games, like I said, I wish I was an actor shoot because he has all these games he can play, and I'm just like, bro, I wish. And and I was there. And and speaking of God of War, you know. Oh wait. 
I don't, okay, I don't want to spoil it. Okay, I'm going to just spoil it for myself. God of War is not in my top five franchises. That's because I haven't played all the God of Wars yet. Right now, I fin- I maybe seven months ago, I finished the first God of War. And just recently, I'm on. I'm playing God of War 2, like the OG. So, yeah, I'm finally playing those games. So, just spoiler warning. I guess that's not in my list. But that is definitely an honorable mention. So far, I'm really liking God of War. Um Okay, so my third. Hey, shout out Sheldon. He, he he just he just accepted my my follow request. Hey man, shout, shout out <laughs> Sheldon, bro. Shout out to you, bro. Uh, so okay, so my uh, my third right is gonna be Grand Theft Auto. GTA, yeah, man. I, mean, I think that's like. Hey yeah. man, tell those motherfuckers to fucking release GTA Six, goddammit. Yeah. Wait, right? didn't you avoid the leaks? Yeah, I did. Dude, that's crazy. I don't know how the fuck you avoided that shit. I haven't seen any leaks. That's crazy. So you don't know what city it takes place? Mm, no. Damn, that's crazy. Cause we, I don't. we know what city it takes place in. I yeah, I know there's been leaks and stuff. I've avoided. I avoided them. I don't know how crazy. I did it, bro. I was I'm watching not, that shit, bro. I'm like, no way am I watching GTA 6 right now. Well, it's because like, I'm not really on social media that much either yeah, way. Nah. But, um, but yeah, so I would say GTA, man. GTA is a well-known franchise, amazing open-world franchise that honestly revolutionized the the gaming world, to be honest, where there's been Facts. copycats. Facts. Like fucking Saints Row, which actually the first two Saints they Row. They started off right. Yeah, the first two Saints Row I really fuck with, and they went to this weird bullshit, funny, goofy shit, and I get it. They wanted to differentiate, 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 it, yeah, themselves. You can't, you couldn't even say it. Dif- I know. <laughs> you differentiate, differentiate. I can't say it, bro. Fuck me. Just go. Differ- I can't. They wanted to differentiate. Be different. Be different. Just say that. Fuck. <laughs> they wanted to differentiate themselves. Hey, you said it. There you go. From uh, GTA, which I completely get it, but they fly. either way. Give Either way, for trying, uh, though. GTA is absolutely amazing. All fucking, I fuck with all the games. My favorite GTA, like I said, this is a franchise, not my favorite, right? My favorite GTA, though, game is GTA 4. Absolutely love GTA 4. I love Liberty City. I love Nico Bellic. I just love everything. And a close contender to being at that spot would be GTA San Andreas, truthfully. Though, but GTA 4, GTA 4, always gonna be my favorite so that is my number three man gta bro all right what's your what's your number two we're two spot now my number two i have a feeling i might know what it is what is it resident evil fuck you bitch I was going to say Resident Evil, bro. I'm curious to what your one is, but... Nah, yeah. man. I, I just knew Resident Evil had to be in the list. Resident Evil, is, Resident Evil is my number two, bro. I I absolutely love the Resident Evil franchise. Which that's another franchise I got to play. It's another one he has to play. Like I said, guys, I wish I was in his shoes. So, because yeah, I could play all these games again for the first time. But yeah. uh, Resident Evil, man. That franchise, I know... It, it recently has gone into this like this first person type of thing, and and I liked it. But I told Hector recently, like, I'm like, yo, as much as I love the FPS point of view, I kind of want them to go back to third person. Mm. Obviously, I just finished streaming the the Resident Evil Four playthrough. I yeah. absolutely loved it, bro. I finished it so fast, bro. I was putting in like big boy hours. <laughs> I was putting in like four six hour streams, bro. I'm just like, damn, bro. It's one of those games where, like, I I felt I forgot the time. Like, four hours felt like two to me. And when you have a game that makes you feel that way, you know you're playing something good. You know what I mean? And I would say my personal favorite Resident Evil is probably Resident Evil 2, the remake, Mm. just because I think they did just a fantastic job of you know recreating oh, wow. the first you know, Resident you know, Evil you know what I just noticed what? we could have been listing these franchises and giving our favorite game from that franchise well I did Uncharted I did two. okay well, okay for, okay. Let's, just, let's recap hold that thought let's just recap my number five was, was Elder Scrolls mm-hmm. my favorite was Skyrim mm-hmm. number three my number four was Uncharted I agree with you Uncharted 4 I mean Uncharted 2 mm-hmm. the third one what the fuck did I just say GTA I already said GTA, GTA 4 okay and now yeah. Well, my Uncharted, Uncharted 2, okay. Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2. Okay. What was my 3 again? Your 3? My 3, what was, the fuck was it? I forgot. Okay, you said... Okay, you wait, what'd you Uncharted, say again? Uncharted, Mass Effect... Oh, Charted, Bioshock. Bioshock, Bioshock. Bioshock Infinite. Infinite, Infinite. Infinite, yeah. That's right. And then Resident Evil, I just okay, said Resident right Evil 2 we go. remake. 
Um, in terms of Resident Evil games, bro, I actually haven't played all of them fully. I've played parts of six. I played parts of five. I played parts of zero and one. But so I have played all of them, just not all of them fully. The ones I have played fully is Resident Evil Two Remake, Three Remake, Four Original, and Four Remake. Uh, I've played Biohazard fully, and I played the Village fully. Mm-hmm. All right, and I generally I have loved all of them. I know five and six are really hated upon and upon the community, and I get why, and I kind of agree with it. I don't really like how they took the franchise. Which I'm like, I, I told Hector, like, I'm very interested in what they're going to do next when it comes to remakes because five and six are kind of hated upon. So, like, mm-hmm. they would really have to tweak shit to make it better if they want to do that. Yeah. If they want to make a remake, then they got to remake five. But a lot of people don't like five. So, why remake something like wholeheartedly to like to the original and you know people aren't going to like it? You know what yeah. I mean? So, I'm very in- interested to see what the Capcom is going to do. But uh, yeah, man, I love I love it because Resident Evil really started a whole genre, survival horror, and I love that genre. I think they're the best at it. Silent Hill is a very good one, also, which I have to play. I haven't played a single Silent Hill game in my life. I know there's a remake coming out. I'm probably gonna start with that. Honestly, I can't wait to play it. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, but, that's where we're different because I played the first two yeah, Silent yeah. Hills mm-hmm. and. You haven't played them, and I haven't played Resident Evil. I've only Evil seen playthroughs. I told you that. No, oh, actually, it's a lie. I played the demo of oh, one of the okay. Silent Hills, but like it doesn't really count. You know what I mean? So, uh, okay, let me just say this, right? Speaking of Silent Hill, right? Silent Hill was definitely a very good contender for Resident Evil. Okay, mm-hmm. and many people would believe that Resident Evil have reinvented the wheel. What do I mean by that? Is that all the Resident Evil games were third person? typical third person games and stuff and they said huh what can we do they came out with resident evil biohazard where it was first person they oh my god what a beautiful way to reinvent the wheel very different to you know something different for a long going series yeah but truthfully they did that after the playable teaser right for of um silent hills yeah pt because truthfully, Silent Hill was a great competitor oh, yeah. to Resident Evil. They were very similar third person. That yeah, very, very, uh, very similar third person, um, third person survival horror, right? And it got to the point where Silent Hill was actually gonna, gonna was actually on the come up, and they released the PT for yeah. Silent Hills, which went to first person, you know, mm-hmm. and it was one of the scariest playable teasers probably, ever probably the most popular demo ever absolutely and and so this being the competitor of resident evil and obviously there was a fallout that happened with pt and everything resident evil that's when resident evil biohazard came out it came out after you know so people so believe it or not i personally believe that resident evil saw what silent hill did they said holy shit that's pretty fire we're gonna do our own and mm-hmm. that's exactly what happened, you know. Comp- and truthfully, if Silent Hills ever came out, it would have definitely it would have been the first ever, you know, uh, not first ever, but like it would have been one of the best and probably scariest, you know, first person horror uh, survival genre that's competing with Silent Hill. And then if it would have kept the series would have kept going, and boom, there we go, Silent Hill and Resident Evil competing with each other. Mm. You know what I mean? But I just want to say Silent Hill did it first. And then Resident Evil decided to do it as well mm. in Biohazard in what 2016 around there 2016 around 17 there, yeah. whatever because the PT came out 2014 I believe I, I or forgot, something bro. like that but yeah, yeah did you know that that PT came, came out, out first, first? Yeah. Mm. yeah I remember when that shit was blowing up bro it was like the most popular demo so do you agree with me do you think that like Resident Evil saw that I mean oh, shit, shit bro given how Resident Evil six ended people were hating on it like I'm not surprised. Like, Resident Evil at that time was, like, kind of downhill and dying. Yeah. And Biohazard brought it back. Mm-hmm. It made Resident Evil re- relevant again. That and, you know, Resident Evil 2 was a fucking huge success, obviously. Um, but, yeah, man, I just I, I just personally, I you know, well, I should say this first. We know Silent Hill's making a comeback. Oh, with yeah. all the announcements they fucking yeah, with made. The with the remake and, and the new one coming out. They're which compete, looks man. 
very fucking interesting. It looks very fucking creepy. I am excited as fuck to play gonna all compete. those games. They're going to compete. Right? I feel like, and I, I love that because it makes fucking Capcom, you know, like, hey, yo, we got to be on our shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Hopefully but, it does um, well. When it comes to Resident Evil, I hope they go back to third person just because that's what I fell in love with, the third person aspect. And I kind of want them just go like just go back to, like, look at Resident Evil 2, bro, and look why everyone loves that game and just expand on that. Bro. Right. That's what you need to do, and you will always have a good game. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, throw in, throw in a first-person shooter, I mean, like Resident Evil Revelations. You've heard of that? Yeah, I've heard of that. I one. played, Re- I played both Revelation played games. The, Those are really cool games. I played too. the second one for a bit. Two? Yeah, two. Oh, I love Revelations, bro. That those two games were amazing. I hate that they stopped it. I don't know. I, I don't know why, but they, I, they never made a third one. Uh-huh. Um, but I absolutely love Revelation. That was more like Resident Evil Five and Six. Mm, but okay. like you kind of like okay i kind of like this because it wasn't an exact it wasn't exactly like five and six where it's like really actiony yeah where like there's still some of the the, the survival elements to it and like that's like the perfect balance in my opinion because yeah. i still i still love both those games bro and then but, you um, know with, with silent hill having like they're having issues with with copyright or like their owners and stuff they're in development hell like we're like where the fuck is silent hill and then just recently couple months ago we saw that they're remaking silent hill 2 mm. and they're coming out with all these different games so hopefully silent hill is Both hit. Can, yeah can p- compete and everything because mm-hmm. yeah man but like i said silent hill did it first man that's all i'm gonna say mm. but uh what was your favorite game? Silent resident evil game i don't think you two. mentioned that. two remake I said oh that, yeah. two two remake the remake the, the okay, okay. Yeah, that shit remake was so, so good so okay so that's your number two spot franchise my number two spot for a franchise would be gears of war Mm-hmm. And I grew up with Gears of War, man. I absolutely love Gears of War. And truthfully, yes, it's a very linear game. If you play the early games, you're going to tell that, like, oh, yeah, this is like a 2005 game, which it is, right? Whatever. You're, you could tell the, the time on it. But truthfully, it's a very linear game. I think the story is what makes it the, the world and the lore, truthfully. And mm-hmm. there's also, it's one of those games, bro, where there's books also as well, like mm-hmm. novels, like actual novels, not like, and comics mm-hmm. that are like canon or whatever the fuck, you know? Um, but yeah, Gears of War, absolutely, you know, I grew up with it. I love it. Love the characters and everything. Um, it's, a, it's a shame that as of right now, 2023, the Gears of War franchise is dying, unfortunately. And it's, and sure, it, some could be blamed for the mediocre story, the brand new story, which the last two games that came out is from a different um, development team. It's kind of like with Halo, you mm. know, where like they had Bungie, and then they dropped it, and other people picked it up. So that's exactly what happened with uh, Gears of War. Gears of War first created by Epic Games. Oh wow! Yeah, and so uh, they dropped it with after Gears of War Judgment, and then Gears of War Four got picked up by a development team called the Coalition back in twenty. 20- 14 or something like that mm-hmm. and epic games sold it to them and they probably thought it was the best idea ever because look what they did they created fortnite yeah a multi-billion dollar company man hey shout out to them bro they say hey, fuck yeah. yeah bro we'll, we'll definitely get into epic and down and later in the, bo- in this um, podcast. uh uh but yeah um so with okay well, fuck i lost my train of thought so yeah so so with gears of war um, it's it's slowly rapidly declining of the maybe the mediocre story, but not only that, bro. It's and Mario, you could test to this. It's just the fact that a lot right now multiplayer games are very popular. Yeah, that's okay? true. Multiplayer that's games true. are very popular. Okay, so with Gears of War, yes, there is a multiplayer which I personally love. It's even though it's frustrating a bit, and I get it's whatever. I, I still love it. It's addicting to me. Um, it's not very uh, friendly to new people. Sure, There's sure. a huge skill gap in Gears of War. I'm not going to lie. Gears of War is one of those games where you actually got to be good at the game to do well. I'm not going to lie. It's not like Call of Duty or whatever the fuck. You actually have to be really good. There's a huge skill gap. A lot of advanced movement, a lot of advanced shooting and techniques and all these different things. And Mario actually played Gears of War for the first time. And when you first played, like, did you notice that? Like, what the fuck? I just can't compete. Like, this is crazy. Mm. Like, it was pretty difficult, wasn't it? What did you say? That's for sure, bro. The movement, what I the think, The movement bro, is everything. You, it's, it's everything. You don't even have to have the greatest aim. You can miss, like, three shots in a row, but if you have fucking God movement, you'll win the fight. You will win the fight. 
you master the movement, you become one of the best players on that fucking game. Or you become obviously the best. One of the good players. Because then, the best players master the aim also. Yeah, and put that with the aiming. It's, yeah. Hey, bro, it's tough. Yeah. And so, you know, that's what happens when, when there's a game that, like, is really hard for new players. They're, they're just going to quit and give up they're on gonna it. They're going to be turned off. Exactly. That's why we're turned off of Fortnite now with all the people who build, like, fucking yeah, crazy. This, yeah, that's an example right there. It's just how it is. But, you know, um, yeah. But, but, yeah, overall, I would say Gears of War is my top two just because of the story. And the lore overall, man, it's it's a great world. I love the lore, all the books and stuff. But yeah, that's gonna be uh, my number two spot. Uh, Mario, what's your? Uh, oh wait, no, we already did it. We already did your number two. Yeah, I already well, did your number one, bro. Honestly, I was thinking like, what could be your fucking number one? I could, I was thinking, I knew for a fact Resident Evil was gonna be your number one or two, bro. But mm-hmm. like now that I, it's, I guess it was two, what's your number one? My number one, bro. Like I said, bro, yeah. I'm a sucker for open world RPG games. And so, my number one, bro, is a game like that, where all the games are like that, and where a leak happened <laughs> recently showing the new game that's supposed to come out very soon. And that game is Dragon Age. Oh, that's right. The Dragon Age franchise, bro. I recently played, well, not recently, this was a while ago, actually. I played Dragon Age Inquisition, I believe, four. Three three years ago, and I absolutely fell in fucking love with that game. That's one of my my favorite games of all time. Like, it's definitely for sure in my top ten. Like I spent probably like I I I remember actually it was probably like I think it was like seventy five to eighty hours. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, bro. I cut it short. Sorry, you hear a blender. What the fuck? Yeah, if you hear a blender, we apologize. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, I hear that. Hey, bro. Yeah, I spent 75 to 80 hours in that game, but it it literally could have been 100. Which is another game I want to check out. Yeah, bro. And like I said, I usually could have been 100 just because at that point, bro, when I was around those hours, bro, Mm -hmm. it's because all the DLC had already came out. So I was already playing the DLC without knowing it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what I was playing was DLC because there's like a... A DLC where like it deals with being under under like underground. Yeah. And there's another DLC that gives you like a true ending to the game. You okay. know the ending are, itself is already good. Yeah. Um so I was playing that without already knowing it. So like the 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 true ending is like the last thing you play. And so I wanted to play that so bad. Or because in Dragon Age there's dragons. There's like I forgot how many. And I already did more than half. And my yeah. goal was I want to kill all the dragons before I do the ending. But I was playing it, bro. I'm like, bro, I want to know the ending of this game. Like, I, I got to know the ending. So I was like, fuck it. I'm cutting it short. I don't give a fuck. I need to know the fucking That's how much I was fucking deeply in love with the fucking story of this game. All right? So I found out the ending. It blew my mind away. I was like, no way. It's you? You motherfucker? It's you? That was literally me, like, screaming out loud in my room. Like, there's no fucking way. It's been you all along. Yeah. You're the dread wolf. You motherfucker. That's yeah. literally what I was saying. Right? And so I did it, and I was just like, bro. I I never picked it up again because I was just like, bro, I know the ending. Like, I'm satisfied, <laughs> bro. Like, yeah, I had to go up killing all the dragons. But I was like, honestly, I don't give a fuck. I'm so, like, brain dead from grinding this game. Because you don't understand, bro. I was God literally. Damn, it's one of those I games. put in my fattest session ever in gaming. Jesus. I put in nine hours. Nine fucking hours. In one sitting? One sitting. Oh, my God. Nine hours. That's a whole I, shift in one that's sitting. That's a shit. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. I, I, I'm pretty sure God I said damn. shit. But I, oh, <laughs> that's a whole shit. That's a shit, bro. I took a dump for nine yeah, hours straight. Yeah, bro. I literally, I remember I started gaming at like 11, 12. I didn't hop off until like fucking like seven eight nine around there one of those hours i forgot God but it was damn. my fattest session i'm like yo i never gained for that long but here's the thing again it didn't feel that way bro it didn't fucking right. feel that way yeah it was for that long it honestly felt for like five six hours where like yo i need to hop off just because i know like yo this ain't good for me that's yeah. why i hopped off because i'm like yo i need to calm down like yo i literally been in my room all day playing this fucking game you ever had that type of session before? Yeah, like, yo, I, I need to so. hop yeah, off, I I bro, because I've been on here too long. Yeah. Like, I, like from my health, like, yo, I need, just need to hop off. That's why I hopped off. But, like, you could have kept I, going, though. I, I could have kept going. Yeah. It's like, from my own sanity, I'm like, yo, no, I can't, dude. Like, no, this is unhealthy. 
type of thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn. But yeah, bro, Dragon Age, bro. Like I said, there was leaks towards the new one, and I have my 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 beef with it. Yeah. But I'm not gonna get into it. Just know, like, I'm still am looking forward to the new one. I pray to fucking God you're, the next Dragon Age game is not fucking live service. If it is live service, I'm going to be so fucking pissed because Bioware, have you not fucking learned from Anthem? Anthem was a complete fucking flop, you yeah, idiot. That shit flop. And Anthem fucking canceled the original sequel that was supposed to come out because of that stupid ass fucking game. So. I remember that, that game was really highly anticipated. It was, it bro, and it flopped so hard, bro, because they had no idea what type of game they were making. That's why it fucking flopped. Look up the articles, bro. They literally, when they teased the game, they had no idea what game they were making. <laughs> They're like, "Yeah, we have this teaser, but we still don't. Know, we still don't know what game we're making." Oh, it's so like, bro, bad. how the fuck are y'all like? What the like? Bioware had its dark ages, and I'm hoping Dragon Age. Is a kickoff to a new age. Yeah. You know, funny Dragon Age new yeah. age. But, like, I'm hoping, You're like, so yo. Funny. I know, right? <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> uh, but I'm hoping Dragon Age, bro, the new one, is, like, a kickoff to, like, hey, we're no longer that old Bioware. Because, truthfully, bro, I now view Dragon Age, Bioware as, like, a franchise that or a developer that I don't take seriously anymore. Ooh. And the fact that they're making, de- they're in charge of one of my favorite games of all time is, like, please don't fuck it up. Like, please do not fuck it up. Please, yeah. do not fuck this up for me. I fucking love the Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm, I played. I'm, I'm currently. Pl- I'm not currently. I played Dragon Age Two, and I'm. Bi- I'm like five hours deep into it. It's one of the things where I was playing off stream, and I was because you know like I like having those games off stream that I play. But then it shit got busy with the games that are coming out, so I dropped it. Yeah. So like you know, it's one of those type of things where I'm currently playing Dragon Age Two, but not really. But um, I've been loving Dragon Age 2 also. I just mm-hmm. love the gameplay in Dragon Age 2. Gameplay, characters are all memorable. Like, everything I said about Uncharted 4 and 3 are in Dragon Age, basically. It's a great franchise. If y'all haven't played Dragon Age Inquisition, I highly suggest it. It may not be for you because the gameplay, you may not like it. That's what I'm saying. I and I understand it, it. But give it a shot. I think it should. I, think, I don't know. If I, did know. I mention that was, that was that's another franchise I haven't played? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did I actually? Uh, no, you, you mentioned to me off off podcast. Oh, I'm just mentioning it here for everybody else. Yeah, man. Yeah. I haven't played a lot, man. Fuck. Mm. Same with Metro. Oh, yeah. Man, I played all three Metro games. That's another good franchise. It's a very underrated franchise, I feel like. All three are they're very it's very unique and that's why I love about Metro. Yeah. Metro is like you know it's an apocalyptic where everyone uses nukes and shit. It takes place in Russia and very same, same very mature. I'm telling you that right now. Yeah, yeah. If you're a, like a teenager with like parents that like care about what you do, mm. do not play that game. Oh shit! Or else you will be <laughs> fucked because if they walk in at the wrong time, you are in trouble, my guy. But uh, <laughs> I'm not serious. Like it, sh- it has nudity in it. <laughs> you, you just said I'm not serious. I'm, I said I'm serious, my guy. You said I'm not serious. What do you mean? That's what you said, though. I don't. I mean, that's what you. I'm, I'm not serious. I, what, what, what did I say? Like my sentence. Shut. This is. Yeah, on. I forgot, bro. Hey, okay, man, I'm so happy that you, I'm listen, you guys just caught. The, you guys just caught that. So fuck, fuck I was gonna say something else, man. Okay, Metro. Oh Metro. yeah, another franchise I guess would be uh, that I haven't fully played and except for only two games was uh, Assassin's Creed. The first and I mean, second Assassin's here, Creed, bro. I only played those two. I, I, when I was the, a only, kid. the only Assassin's Creed I played was um the one when it was like the Revolutionary War. Assassin's Creed three? Yeah, I played three. I played parts of Black Flag. No, nah, I mean um I I think I played a little bit of the original Assassin's Creed because that's because I, I was at a cousin's house and I just played it there. Yeah. Um, the new one, Mirage. I'm actually I, I dropped Assassin's Creed because I knew what they became. I was like, bro, this is just mindless open world game, and yeah, it's RPG, but it's all of it's just grindy. It's just a grindy game. Like like the story, I feel like is not the first priority, and I feel like it's all about grind, not about putting effort into the actual story and all that. And Mirage, they said that they're getting rid of some of the RPG elements, which, like I said, you know, I said I'm a big RPG fan. But in here, I think that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I also played um, Syndicate. Oh, okay, I fully okay. played Syndicate. I forgot to add that. But Mirage, I'm, a- I'm actually going to buy that and, sh- and stream that one. Yeah, I've, yeah, I only played the first two. And, like, the first Assassin's Creed was the f- was my first ever Assassin's Creed Okay, Syndicate kind of started that open world RPG shit, not going to lie. Really? Yeah, not gonna lie, bro. When did that one come out? 
So Nick, it came out like probably in high school, like 2014, I feel like. Oh, well, Skyrim came out in 2011. 2011. No, I'm talking about like in Assassin's Creed. Oh, like that, those games. Open world? The first? Like the open first world RPG. Session. Like in terms of like, hey, here's a base, kill all the base, it's not your base. Oh, here's another base, kill the old people in that base, it's really? not your base. I could have sworn f the second Assassin's Creed was like that. Because Syndicate, bro, was, uh, I don't know, I feel like Syndicate was open world. But it didn't have, hey, to clear out this base right here, and now you have control of this area, and now it's cleared out, so you don't have to focus uh, here anymore. I'm talking okay. about like shit like that. Okay. Like Syndicate had that, and because it, for, it did that, it was a huge success. Gotcha, gotcha. So they continued it into the other games. I yeah. could be completely wrong, so correct me in the comments. Yeah, so, okay. But yeah, like I was saying before, the first Assassin's Creed was my first ever Assassin's Creed game I played it when I was like, I think I was like, I played this when I was a kid, bro, and I was like eight years old, nine years old, and then Assassin's Creed Two, and then I just stopped mm -hmm. from, since then. But uh, okay, so my number one for my number one spot, my franchise is gonna be Halo. I knew it, bro. I was like, it has to be Halo. You haven't mentioned it. Hey, man, it's Halo, bro. You know, Halo was actually my first ever first person shooter. <coughs> I played Halo when I was, um, I think, in first grade, dude. It was. When I first got my f very first gaming console, the original Xbox, when I lived in Trailer Park, and Halo Combat Evolved was the first ever first-person shooter game I ever played. And then my second ever first-person shooter game I ever played was Call of Duty Finest Hour on the original Xbox. Um, and Halo is just another one of those games where it's like Gears of War, very linear amazing story not only that it, it has an expansive lore just like gears of war where there's comics there's an actual novels of diving deep into specific lores of different species and all that different stuff and honestly master chief even if you never played halo you know who master chief is that's facts like it's one of those things bro like it's kind of one of those things like darth with like darth vader right or luke skywalker my like father right we're like my son my bad. we're like um if you've never seen Star Wars, you know who Darth Vader is. You know who no, Luke Skywalker is. Idiot. You know what I mean? Like, you know those characters. Same with Halo, bro. If you never play Halo, you know who Master Chief is. Or, like, not even by the name. And if you, there's a picture, you're like, oh, yeah, I've seen him before. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and that shit really took over. Halo really took over the world at one it's point. It's really, Xbox is really, like, only saving grace right now. I like don't even know when about it comes anymore, to bro. exclusives, because Halo's been going down a, a bit of a hill as well. But like, it's the only thing they got. Bro. Oh, exclusives! Yeah, when it comes to exclusives, it's they only Halo. got Halo and Gears. But even Gears is basically dead in my eyes, bro. Shh. From an outside perspective, but I can admit, Halo, it's like bigger than strong, Xbox. It has a strong fan base, bro. Yeah, as I'm saying, bro, Absolutely Halo, strong. like Master Chief Two, it's in fucking Fortnite, dude. Yeah, no one facts. in Gears is in Fortnite, but Halo yeah, there is, is in Fortnite. Yeah, there is. Gears is in Fortnite? Yeah. Who is in Fortnite? The, the two main characters. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know that. Yeah, I did not know, know that. <laughs> I did not know that. I'm but speaking of Halo, okay, so my favorite game my, my favorite game from Halo, the franchise, is going to be Halo 2. Mm -hmm. Halo 2, amazing story. I love the missions. A lot of missions as well. Like, that's my favorite uh, game from the franchise. But yeah, man. It's... Uh, Halo is just a really well franchise, even though, like, I'm not going to lie, bro. It's it's a linear game, bro. It's very yeah. simple, basic and stuff. But it's just the fact that the lore, the lore, that's where it gets you, bro. Like, it's the, novels, the world building, bro. The novels the and everything. world building, it's, Yeah, bro. dude. It's, it's really fucking I, I'm dope. pretty sure Dragon Age has shit like that, too. I could be really? wrong. I'm the, like, pretty like, sure. Like, like, novels and shit? Not novels, but, like, comics. Like, Dragon Age has, has an animated show on Netflix. Mm. Remember I told you? But is it Which but is like eh, it's No, but, eh. listen, but is it his own thing or is it canon to the story? I think it's canon because Cuz with Halo the, everything's canon. No, cuz in the, in the show um Except for the there's TV show series, there's characters in the show that are in the game in Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh, so it shit. has to be canon. Gotcha, gotcha. But uh, in terms of the comics, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure when I was in my fucking grind mode of Dragon Age Inquisition, I I looked up everything and I could have sworn there was comics related to shit or something like that. But right. uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, man, like I said, man, like uh, Halo is really like Xbox is like only like thing they got. Yeah. Because Another they, I feel like they fucked up Gears of War. And right now they're fucking up Halo, and Halo still can be saved. It might, I know it, yeah. might, it might be unpopular opinion, but Halo I still can still be saved. Yeah, they need to add be, a bro. BR. As much as I hate to say it, they need to add a BR. Low key, they had everything. Bringing a for BR it. would bring Halo back. That's true. 
That's true, bro. Uh, another honorable mention that I want to um, say is uh, Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. That's another honorable mention of a franchise, man. Call I of Duty has been going on since I like, mean, strong as fuck, bro. My favorite COD is Black Ops Two. There you go. I was about to say either. E- okay, if your favorite your favorite COD is always going to be Black Ops Two. Modern Warfare 2 or MW3. It's it's one of those three games. Yeah, that's fact. It's always going to be one of those Always three. one of those, dude. For, for for me, personally, it's Black Ops 2. Yeah, I would I, say Black Ops 2. I think or Black, Black Ops. Ops. Or Black Ops is a the very first Black good Ops because Zombies good is really good, yeah, too. Yeah, Zombies was fire. But uh, in Black Ops 2, for me, personally, I think it was just because... What's it called? Um, Black Ops 2 had everything Modern Warfare 2 had. And even Modern Warfare 3, bro. But Modern mm. Warfare 3 was missing one thing that Black Ops 2 had that, that it didn't. And it's why I say Black Ops 2, I think, is the best COD of all time. Is mm. that I think the pro league scene, like the pro scene, was at its biggest. Right. At, at that time. <laughs> like, I was becoming a... What's it called? I was becoming a fan of, like, the pro players keeping up with everything because of Black Ops 2. Mm. Black Ops 2 had iconic maps, multiple iconic maps multiple iconic guns you know the maa1 yeah. the msmc that stupid fucking shotgun that shot three rounds you're like boom, 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 and it twisted like the mag that three burst pistol um the cap 40 was it the called th- wait the three burst pistol what was, you know, that? Was like, what was like, that called bro what was that gun called like the, the m193 uh, some shit like that yeah i think something so, like right. that um not only that, the story was good. Was it the best thing about the game? No, obviously not. But it was still a very good. I'm not gonna lie, campaign. bro. I've never beat the story. For real, I've always. I've, I've only. I've, I've only played multiplayer and zombies. I think the only COD campaign I've never played was Ghost and Infinite Warfare, mm. and I believe Advanced. But I have played parts. I'm talking about fully everything else. I fully played every COD campaign, uh-huh. every single one, besides those three. But um, the zombies was incredible. It, I think it took a step up compared to Black Ops 1. Even yeah. though Black Ops 1 was already incredible. Mm-hmm. Incredible. So I think it up. Uh, I think it did better in Black Ops 1. Like everything about it, bro, was good. Like every mode was amazing. And on top, the Pro League, it really boosted the pro scene in COD Sports. The Pro League was just the best. It, what, it, it made BO2? it. It made it. it Bo two. I think it made yeah. it. It made it relevant. Is what I'm trying to say. That's true. Remember, Cod League, remember League play? became relevant in Bo two and League play. That was the that best was League play, in my opinion. Yeah, League. Play they tried was doing fun. it in Modern Warfare two, and it was a success. You know, it's good, but in my opinion, like Treyarch just did something. You know, just that was just a, a, a huge hit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I became I became a fan of Nate Shot because of League play. Oh shit! Yeah, he would upload like Road to Masters Division, and I'd watch every video. Yeah, I didn't really watch a lot of people play uh, Leak. I think at the time, the only Call of Duty YouTubers I would watch from that would make Bo Two content was or, 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 or even a Bo One. No, I, surprisingly, I didn't watch competitive people. For real? No, uh. dude. At the time, no, like because we were like twelve or thirteen when Bo One mm-hmm. came That's out fact, and yeah. and Bo Two. So like. The stuff I would watch was um, one of them was my favorite was a uh, Minnesota Burns. Minnesota Burns. He was a troll. Like he would troll people uh-huh. on on Call of Duty. Like he would troll kids or whatever. He'd get their kids' moms on the phone <laughs> and troll them, saying, "Yeah, you know, your son has been blah blah." blah. Yeah. Like, I can show you some videos, of old old school videos after this, but yeah. that's that's what I watch. And then another person that would watch would be uh um trolling videos and um yeah i watch a lot of trolling videos and bo2 would be uh louis caliber louis caliber yeah that guy i would watch him and stuff when i was i would watch young. uh you ever heard of kyr speedy KYR. oh yeah right he, yeah he that was guy another too. one yeah yeah man so like, the, like that age bro i feel like it was bo2 yeah. minecraft absolutely minecraft bro. and then after that it kind of i feel like it died bro after know. that bro i just I don't it, think I was I playing. Feel like, I, feel I, like I wasn't playing grew, video games. Yeah, like we just grew. Oh, I was, but like I feel like I grew out of that. Like I don't even care a fuck about Minecraft anymore. Yeah, that's true. Even though Minecraft fire, bro. Minecraft I can still fire. play Minecraft. Mm-hmm. 
We should play Minecraft again. But yeah, I, I said to him, like, <laughs> off the podcast, like, yo, like, I feel like we're due for, like, another two-week Minecraft session. Because that's what we do, like, once a year. We, we go through the w- two-week Minecraft session. I feel like yeah. every friend group does. Yeah, that. the Minecraft grind, and then we just stop. And then, yeah. But I'm kind of sick of it, because, like, the only thing I'm sick of it is, like, I'm tired of creating a whole new world. <laughs> like, like imagine, like, imagine, listen, imagine if we just had one world, yeah. right, together. And, it, and whenever we do, and Thiele was paying for it. So oh, we can yeah. we can easily just go back to that world if we want to, bro. No, but that's what I'm saying, right? Is the fact that like, uh, imagine we just have one world, and then every time we stop playing Minecraft, every time we go back, it's always it's always gonna be that same world. You know what I mean? Like, hey, daily, run it up again. Start yeah, paying for it. We're gonna be on there for about. But a like month. before, I play with you guys. I would play with Danny. Some yeah. of you guys know Danny is a special guest. He would sometimes come on here. Uh, Danny's another friend of ours. When I would play with him, whenever we did that, the whole once a year Minecraft grind, whatever, we'd always start a new world. Yeah. That pissed always, me off. Yeah, Minecraft. I know what you mean. Like, fuck, time to do it again. Start off with nothing. Get but some it was wood. still fun, though. Yeah, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's very soon. Minecraft man. grind, when you start a new world with new people or with like old, old friends. Yeah. It's just like, ah, new world. Let's just see where this takes us. It, it's it's like soothing. Yeah, man. But, uh, but yeah, so that's my number one. And then you already said your number one, didn't you? Dragon Age. And uh, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, man, we we definitely had more topics, but I don't know how long this is right now. How long it's is already, it? It's already it's already an over an hour twenty. It's an, an hour, hour twenty, almost an hour and a half. But, yeah, no, um, I think just to keep it plain and simple, man, I think this was really fun. Yeah, but um, uh, we definitely have more topics where we can definitely we're definitely gonna have another gaming one. We just wanted to get a gaming one out there for y'all. Yeah, um, we're, and we're gonna do our best in the future, whether it's this year or even next year, to actually bust out more. Game, game reviews. reviews or just discussions. I I love talking about games, bro, and I, yeah. I definitely have more opinions about about the gaming culture that we're in right now. Like Hector said, people love multiplayer games right yeah, now. Man. Me, I'm kind of sick and tired of it. Yeah, me too. Bro. I miss my single player games. Like, where the fuck are the single player games? I feel like everything that comes out is a multiplayer game with a fucking stupid battle pass. You know what I mean? And I fucking hate that everything requires a fucking battle pass now because to me, at first, when Epic first introduced it to Fortnite, I'm like, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's awesome. But now it just feels like companies now are just wanting an easy cash grab. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I don't know. I'm sick and tired of it, bro. I'm, I When I see a battle pass now, it's more of a turn off than a turn on. And I'm just like, bro, fuck yeah. out of here, dude. I feel like a lot of people, fuck. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people are... um slowly like getting off of like video Battle games pass. i know what you mean man. yeah you know i mean like a lot of people pass. are relating with this like oh like video games just don't hit the same yeah because everything's a multiplayer game bro yeah, and like people just, try to recreate what fortnite did and you gotta realize like, you're just, not gonna they just recreate see the money. that they just see the money bro they just see the money bro it's the execs bro so whenever i see like a, a single player game nowadays i'm just like wow someone's yeah. making a single player game like i i'm gonna give it a shot just because we don't get a lot of those anymore compared to like the yeah, old days that's facts. you know what i mean and yeah i just like we'll, we'll, i don't want to dive too deep into it because that's definitely going to be our next podcast yeah that'll be like a different to that topic shit. So this one's more like hey how do we get people's attention right away because you know we want to give them content that people will listen to so we thought hey top five game franchises so the next one's for sure going to be about shit like that and um um that's if we do it or who, who knows guys yeah. we're, we're definitely gonna try to um to release more uh, gaming content on the podcast mm. uh but yeah guys with that being said man that's our top five video game franchises uh can it change in the future who knows right because like i said there's a bunch i haven't played yeah so we might do another one with have or with with danny your special guest maybe tealy or whatever who knows uh but yeah guys um thank you guys so much for listening and remember don't let your pass out you guys Take care. Peace.